Hello everyone, welcome to day 27th of September Lead Code Challenge and it's the beginning of a new week having Monday Blues today uh, seems like a pretty easy question that I we got on Lead Code and let's try and understand that question uh, we have the question as unique email addresses in this question we are given list of email addresses and we need to identify the unique email addresses out of that list there are few rules with respect to those rules we need to update the email addresses and once we have updated all of them we need to tell the elements that are unique in that updated list so without much ado let's look at the presentation that i have created and then i'll be moving on uh, to the coding section unique email addresses lead code 782 it's an easy question on lead code and i also feel the same Let's try and understand the question by a few examples. The first string that is given to us is a very basic string, alice at the rate leadcode.com. There are two parts in this email ID. One, the domain part after the uh, at the rate sign and other, the local name part before the at the rate sign. So this is local name ln and this is domain name dn. And there are no special characters in the word alice Let's move on to the next example. Here, the email address is something like alice.z at the rate leadcode.com. The domain name part remains the same, which is leadcode.com. And let's talk about the local name part. Here we have a dot character. In the question, it was specified that if you see a dot character in the local name part, you need to skip it. So what would be the updated local name for this? It would be Alice followed by Z. And we'll have at the rate after that followed by domain leadco.com. Also, it was specified that in case a dot occurs in the domain name, we have to acknowledge it, keep it as it is. So we'll talk about that case as well. Let me just change the color of pen and move to the next iteration. Here we have M dot y plus name at the rate email.com the domain name part is email.com which is dn and we have at the rate here we have the local name as m dot y plus name.com plus name so how will we process this there are two rules that were specified in the question the first one is for the dot we have to skip this dot so let's forget this and the second one is for the plus sign whenever you see the plus sign you need to skip all the elements starting from the plus sign up till the at the rate. So all these characters are to be removed. Once you witness a plus sign, remo start removing all the characters until you witness the at the rate sign. So everything is gone from here. What remains is m y at the rate email.com. And let me just change the color of pen for the next iteration. And here, what would be the updated sanitized email after the processing? First of all, we need to remove this dot. Then we remove need to remove plus name. So these are also gone. Then we have the domain part where we have email dot one two three dot com. So everything remains intact in the domain part. Uh, the updated email is like m by at the rate email dot one two three dot com. I think you understood these rules. And now let's move on to the coding section we'll, where we will perform this sanitization and return you the set of unique results. Let's talk about the code method. Here I have created a set of strings and I'll be storing all the sanitized emails into a hash set. I'll, I start iterating over the email set that I have and I get the sanitized email after doing all the processing. I've created a helper method for this and I add this updated email to my sanitized email set. In the end, I simply return the size of this set. Let's walk about the sanitized, get sanitized email helper method. The return type is string, though it will accept a string that is of the incoming email. It will have two parts, local name and the domain name 
and I have taken another variable for iterating over the email string till the time my email uh, i is less than email dot length and email dot car at the ith index is not equal to at the rate I check if my current character happens to be a dot if that is the case I simply increment the value of i if my current character happens to be a plus sign I keep on moving ahead in my string till the time I don't witness an at the rate sign otherwise I add the current character to my local name and I progress ahead with the next iteration once I'm out of the loop I have built in my local name I skip one character for the at the rate character then I go ahead and build my domain whatever string is present in the domain will remain as it is so I simply copy paste each character and add it to my domain string in the end I simply trunk it uh, I simply append local name plus add rate plus domain and return the result so let's try this up accepted uh, the time complexity of this solution would be equal to order of a length of email length of email the number of emails that we have into the max length of each string so kind of n square you can say this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question, but till then, goodbye.